I have some great memories of the 80s as a child and a teenager. A lot of nostalgia that we see today comes from a great time many find in their lives during the time of the decade called the 80s. A lot of the 80s films were already concepts that Hollywood borrowed from the ideas of films from the 50s and just added new effects that had been designed for 80s films. Teen comedy started being all the rage in the 1980s. Thank you, John Hughes. What's happening, hot stuff? A lot of people pitch films like this. It's a cross between 16 Candles and Dracula. And you get films like Once Bitten. Once Bitten came at a time when Jim Carrey thought he was on the rise. He was on the Duck Factory and performing at various comedy clubs. He recently moved to Hollywood and it looked like things were looking up for the young comedian. Carrie passed the audition for Once Bitten with flying colors and thus filming began. We really think in an interview from the popular entertainment shows of the era that this film was to be Jim Carrey's breakout film. Once Jim Carrey became a household name, this film was forgotten. I found the film later in a VHS release. I never heard of Once Bitten and I doubt it played in a theater close to where I live at the time of its release. You can watch the trailer for Once Bitten and it looks like it would be a pretty good film. The trailer was edited right. They should have did the same thing for editing. Did I enjoy it? <laughs> Once Bitten falls into the category of other vampire comedy films. It fails miserably in the comedy department. The film is now just a phenomenon or a legend that you're told about that starred Jim Carrey. You can watch Once Bitten free on YouTube. When Once Bitten was released in November of 1985, the film was a financial success and it was torn apart by critics. In this case, I cannot blame them for tearing Once Bitten apart. The plot is dumb. It revolves around the Countess, played by model Lauren Hutton, who is looking for a virgin male so she can stay young, but she must find a virgin to bite three times. She must find that virgin before Halloween so we, the audience, might be interested. The big comedy of the film is that she cannot find a virgin in Los Angeles because no young male is a virgin in Los Angeles. Unless heaven forbid they might have to go to the suburbs. I guess no one plays Dungeons and Dragons in LA in 1985. I play D&D too! The film was directed by television director Howard Storm and it shows the timing of the comedy is really slow in the film. The film does get a couple of laughs from me when Karen Copens delivers a couple of lines of comedy in the film. Copens timing is perfect in the scenes at the house of the Countess. Unfortunately, Jim Carrey seems to be not the unleashed Jim Carrey we knew in his prime. Copens is obviously a better dancer than Jim Carrey and many as well as I find her dance scene very stunning and good. Dance scenes in teen comedies were snuck in, so music from the soundtrack was heard, and people would go by the sound. Evil. He wants me because I'm nice and sweet and pure. So f off. The film picks up around 45 minutes into the film, but for many people, they had just given up on the interest in the film by this time. You cannot discredit the writers. They went after the interest in wallets of both male and female audiences and probably pinned a decent date night film and this is what it is. Once Bitten is a date night film from the 80s. I usually put the blame that a film like this was bad because it was a Canadian film but this was a Hollywood film. I cannot blame a regional gap on why the audience are so bored by How would you like to have a sexual encounter so intense it could conceivably change your political views? I think the problem was more of a generational gap where an older director who thought this is the way teenagers of the 80s acted like you felt like this film is just boring. I like how the film ended and when I first watched the film this was the most memorable part of the film is the ending. I'm talking about the conclusion of the film. You know most of the ending of the film ends like a yakety sax number from Benny Hill. <laughs> it was a clever ending for a film that lacked bite. The film is not edgy enough to tackle an edgy subject like teenage sexual pressure and of course love. If you want to see an early film with Jim Carrey in it then this film is for you. I think sex and vampirism with an edge had already been done 
and this film does not give the teeth it needs or the fangs to keep your interest. And you guys have a wonderful day. If you have trouble distributing your music, why don't you click on the link below and DistroKid will give you a 7% off. You guys have a wonderful day.